Hello, my name is Jeff with Best Price Trailers. I want to thank you for tuning in to us today. We're going to talk about stackers today, and, and in general, we're going to talk about the things you need to look for when you're buying a stacker or you're looking to buy a stacker, and those are the things that we can help you with when you're in your search to, to, uh, to buy something that fits your needs. And what we have here is a CargoMate stacker. This is a 24 foot, it's aluminum frame. Um, you can do also steel. Uh, the options are kind of endless, but uh, we're going to talk about the things to look for. This is a, a black. Obviously you have choices of uh, I think 13 different colors. When you do a stackable trailer, which means there's a car that goes underneath and a car goes up top or bikes or whatever, you have two levels of trailer. Um, you want to go enough height inside to get the things that you're putting in it so that they'll fit. Now you have a limited amount of space because you can only go 13 foot 6 DOT regulated height. So the interior is going to be regulated by that DOT measurement. So the first thing you need to do is figure out what are you stacking and will it fit. And that's where we come in. You call us, we'll kind of give you an idea of what's going to fit, what's not going to fit. This one here is going to be um, stainless steel front verticals for aesthetics. This is a nice look. The, the, the black metal is 050 rather than 030, which is mostly most standard trailers are 030. This is thicker because it's so tall. It kind of gets rid of the waviness. I mean, there's a little bit of wave in there, but not a whole lot just because it's so tall. This particular trailer is a triple axle. Now, at 24 foot, you would think you don't need triple axle, but really you do because you have such a, a, a large wind load on the side. It's so tall that the air is going to catch it. You need as much rubber on the ground as you can get. So doing a triple axle is going to get you more stability. You've got three sets of tires on each side, which will keep you from swaying back and forth when the wind blows. That's a, uh, it gives you more weight as well. You do a side mount turn signal. So as you're pulling down the road, usually with a motorhome or a big truck, you can actually see the turn signals come on on the sides. Come around the back here. We do a, uh, an eight foot tall ramp door, which is not a standard feature, but it's something that we do on most of them because you know it gives you the ability to, to pull a taller vehicle inside, but also it gives you the taller ramp door, which makes it less angle coming in. So as you pull it down, you realize how tall it is. And then the angle of, of transition going up into that trailer is lessened because of the length. So you got uh, taking a load of Corvette or a low car, Porsche, whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. If it's low, you've got less transition angle coming up. So there's less need for a large flap at the back. Um, some of these larger doors would require a, a winch to raise them up and down. The, this has an extra heavy duty spring assist, which helps with the weight, bringing it up and down. As you look inside here, this trailer's got rubber tread plate on the floor. Now that's a, uh, it's a it's similar to an aluminum tread plate, but it's made out of rubber. So it gives you that look, gives you a nice good grip. It doesn't, it doesn't slip or skid. So you've got a good traction coming up the ramp. We've got a 13 foot steel. This particular lift has to be made by Gemini. We'll either do a Gemini or a Stinger, uh, either one. And we've done this with a full floor in the center. So you've got the ability to load a couple of motorcycles, a three-wheel trike, a Can-Am, or whatever on this on this lift. So you've got the ability to load a boat. A boat. I mean, whatever you want to put on here, you can put it on here. The ramps go to the back, drive up, raise the lift up. Pretty simple. Once you've raised the lift up, then you can uh, drive the car up underneath them. The way these lifts are set up, it's got a set of stops. It'll have a set of stops and, and set increments as it goes up. And it's going to snap into place here in a second. Okay, that's where you want to stop it. Drop her down, she's secure. There are also, if you look at that side rail, there's a set of holes. There's a series of holes up that channel. That gives you stopping plant points in between those stops to be able to pin it. So if it doesn't work out exact, you can always pin it. Dropping this down. This trailer is equipped with uh, an attic up top here for more storage space. Obviously, this is space you're not going to use, so it's, it makes it more usable uh, for all kinds of things. Spare tires can go up there. You can put uh, a, a, another motorcycle. You can put a four wheeler, whatever you want, up top. Uh, what we've done in here is we've added a front base cabinet with an overhead and a closet. So you've got room for storage in there. You've got room to hang. Uh, clothes, whatever, I mean, race suits and whatnot. 
And then we've done a full electrical package. We've got four fluorescent lights in the corners and the coves. Then we've got another one up here under the loft. So you've got light here, and then I've got another fluorescent up underneath here. So your workbench is lit up, and then all your areas there. This one here happens to have a spare tire on the mount of the wall, kind of out of the way, which is good. It's easy to get to if you ever have to change a flat. Knock on wood, hope you don't. We've done carpet on the walls, and that's just for if you open up your car door or you lean over into it, it's not going to scratch or dang the car on the side. Aluminum interior walls for a nice clean look. Uh, did not done these in white. You can do them in different colors as well. And we've added on most of the stackers that we build for stock, we do it cabinet above the rear door. And that's basically space that's wasted. If you don't do the cabinet there, you've got nothing up there. Now you've got a cabinet, you ride the lift up and utilize the space up top. So if you want to, if you're in the market for a stacker and you want to uh, do a custom setup or you have some things that you need to haul and you're not sure how to do it, give us a call and we'll help you with the setup and make sure you can tow what you need to tow. Thank you.